so you were saying like you get rejected by a lot of people who are you know not in your league or whatever or not you but in general guys get sorry in general guys get rejected or whatever um I'm just confused why you think that way like were you did you were you rejected a lot as a kid as I'm, a kid? Yeah, because it's starting to... Because, like, Brandon. the whatever podcast and the attention meeting, it's starting to all click. Uh, it's it's clicking for you. Yeah, it is clicking. What What's clicking? A lot. <laughs> Next. Are you big on, like, talk therapy? Have you done that a lot? <clears throat> what? Sorry? Have you done a lot of talk therapy? Like, do you think that's a good um, Therapy... <sighs> I've done I've done like I've gone to therapy <laughs> but um it's more spirituality route I was just curious mm -hmm. but also like therapy kind of involved like psychology involved with it Brian but I totally agree with what you said I think men get a lot of rejection on the front half and then women will get into a relationship thinking okay we got the man we got the bag but then we, for whatever reason, are disappointed with the direction of the relationship and where it's going, and so we'll be the one to cut the ties. And so the men will get, well, sorry, the, the women, unfortunately, will get the back end of the rejection. What's your question? No, it wasn't a question, I was just agreeing. <laughs> you said that men get rejection in the, in the basically in the beginning and women get the rejection at the end of it because we will usually pull out because we're not getting what we want. So in a, in, in a sense, we're, we're getting rejected that way because our needs or our wants aren't being met. Yeah, I mean, it's very, it's very different uh, between men and women. But if I can kind of bring it back to my point that I was trying to make really quick here is that I would argue for most women, in order for you to sleep with a guy, he needs to be at least physically attractive enough for you to see yourself in a relationship with him. Like he's at least attractive enough for you to be in a relationship with him. Whether it gets there or not, that's totally separate. Whereas men will sleep with a girl of a certain physical attractiveness that we will, we instantly disqualify her from uh, a relationship but we'll sleep with her we can be in a relationship with her so I mean I don't know if anybody disagrees if you're if you you ladies are just f men that you just their looks alone you would never be in a relationship with them just based off their looks is anybody is there any pushback here or you just you guys actually agree with me on this I already gave my, my um, opinion. I agree. That Look, here's the true. difference. As guys, if we can sleep with the girl, there's pretty high likelihood we can get her in a relationship. The reverse, though, isn't, doesn't occur to me that that's always the case. Just because you can sleep with a guy, it's not clear to me if you can get that guy in a relationship. 100%. Mm -hmm. That's a crazy mentality. How's that a crazy mentality? I don't know. I think you can get whoever you want if you have your mind to it. That's the most R slurred thing I've ever heard. Okay. You can get whoever you want. Is that the manifest yep. manifestation thing that you're talking about? Doesn't matter. Do your own research at this point. There's no such thing as manifestation. Do your own research. I think women try to sleep up. If that makes sure. sense. That's why. But we don't necessarily. That doesn't necessarily correlate to a relationship at longevity. Okay. Um, I don't know what the manifestation stuff is about. I mean, that's just a... Do you actually live in reality? You think you can get anybody you want? What's your definition of reality? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You, do you think that... Is that like an own? No, do you think I'm just that was asking. a W? Exactly. You're Happy asking me you. the definition of no, reality? I, no, it's an, Alan, it's an Alan Watts like quote. Like, what's your definition of reality? Did you get a lot of detentions when you were in high school? Detentions? Yeah, detentions. I only... Um, I got... A, uh, what's it called when you're in... Like, 
lunch detention. I got you lunch got, detention. You got a lot of those. And then I, no, just once. A lot of behavioral I, issues. No, I was actually yeah. a really good kid. What was your home life like? Um, wild. <laughs> was your father in the picture? Yeah, my father's still in the picture, but he was Are wasn't. your parents married? No, they're divorced. Divorced? Mm -hmm. Okay. 